Hello and welcome back. So we bought our selves a slave. Handsome Eliam, welcome to the team. We only need to finalize this uh, transition of property, I suppose. So we're gonna talk to the big guy. We can go to the dungeons first, but maybe we're gonna piss him off by doing that. So maybe not do that. So, big boss, you in here? Disobedi disobedient slave is a dead slave? Aye, aye. Yeah. I agree. So, okay. We managed to find them. Uh, coarsely featured but well groomed, the old one is so sure that reclined in his bed. Um, red burgery chair, his elegantly pointed chin barely clears the lip of his desk. Shall we cut right to it? Master Quill leans forward to rest his forearm against the desk. You realize that he's actually rather long limb for an orlin. It's the oversized desk that dwarfs him. So you purchased my rarest and most valuable offering. Clearly, you are a client of refined taste. But now it's time to pay up. He was the only one who was left! Yeah, whatever. Been looking to lay eyes on you longer than you know, boy. Seraphin scrutinizes the other Orlan as if uh, memorizing every patch of fur on his face. Now you have, and we'll leave it at that. Provoke me, and I may make you one of mine, old man. Um, I'm no longer interested in buying the slave. I simply want you to look in the eye as I end your miserable existence. But I do wanna... As, as, as tempting it is to play the... The aggressor, the guy who kills everybody. At least at times. I do wanna keep it realistic. So, like... As much as you might want something to happen. Like, like take out the pirate fort. Done. But... That perhaps not too realistic to do by yourself or at all. So I don't know. Do we attack him? I I don't want to buy the slave anymore. A deal is a deal. Don't think you can go back on ours. Fuming, he wraps his fingers against the dark wood top of his desk. I am willing to offer you the slave for a favor. After all, I know what you're really here for. My associate informed me he would send an aid to my problem. In exchange, I am willing to commit a number of ships to his fleet. Uh, to the master's left, the lion lounges on a tiled floor, watching you with a predatory interest. Seraphim's large, large green eyes shift between you and the other Orlan, narrowing by degrees. His nostrils flare, his ears angle down, and his lip curls over crooked teeth. His clenched hands hover near his weapons. He's slightly shaking as if something within his furry form is struggling to break out. Does he know you're trading illegally? The master sits a little straighter in his chair, rising a few inches higher above the desk's darkly polished surface. The wood top reflects a distorted image of a sneer. That's a fairly insidious claim to make. What evidence have you to back it? God damn it. We don't have the bluff to pull it off. It's so close. Five party assist. I have my sources. Some of them are even reliable. Have you not thought that this source could be seeking to discredit my business for the gain of their own? Possible. If this source is so reputable, have them come forward into the light. Preferably in an administrative tribunal of my choosing. Got it. Now, will you help me? Or must I ship you back to the captain in chains? Try it and you die on that desk. <laughs> I have no interest in jests or irony. He grunts with a head jerk, motions to one of his guards. The ogre closest to the master blares a massive horn. Fast as a lightning strike. Kua slips beneath his desk and the windows behind him shatter in a thousand shards, raining glass while a hail of gunfire surges toward you. What? 
I only said that I don't want the slave anymore. Damn. I would hate to uh, learn about your return policy. So... Okay. Quest updated. We dealt with the slavers, but we also failed some quests. That, that's just how it goes. You can't have it both ways. Why are you trying to charm him? Oh, probably he was higher health. Fine, exceptional, fine. Garbage. Leave it to me. Garbage. Sure. Click on it. So, yeah, let's get the little bit of baggy here. Hey, ogre. What's up? Can we just all attack him? Why do we need to charm him? We don't. Take him out. Yeah, Sulti is uh, set up in a way that she goes for the buffs always. The AI is set up for long fights, not short fights. See that beauty of a hit, Maya? More horns. Hey, Slaver Merc. Why are they waiting? As uh, unfair it might feel, I would like to see something like that they, they run in and all try to take down. I don't really see that in games, actually. In, in every other game, uh, seems like, for example, XCOM, you... You find the squad, you kill them. You find a you find a group of enemies, you kill them. You find a group of enemies, you kill them. The only game that just really jumps into my mind, where you actually fight, basically all the guys at the same time. Uh, well, at least at least the most memorable one is uh, Jagged Aliens 2. There, if you if someone hears you, then everybody. Who is there are coming to get you. Some of them will hide and try to be sneaky about it, but that's usually not how it goes. Most of them are gonna go and overrun you. Oh, what? Exceptional shining bulwark. Uh, more deflection. Defensive beacon. Oh. Okay, that's pretty much useless. So we can go back to the courtyard, or we can head down into the dungeon. And perhaps I should head down to the dungeon and bust that the slaves first. And after that, I don't know, we'll see. Hopefully the, the guy I bought uh, will not be hurt. Because... They did, uh... Warn them. Hey guys! Let's go! I'm not exactly even sure... Uh, how do they know that I'm the one who's responsible? My fingers be fat and furry, easy breezy and wet, Slazy. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah. I suppose I'm in a an authorized zone. Terrify them. What? Taskmaster Grom. Let's give him some of this. 
Let's give him the hammer. Does it work? Yeah, the hammer is pretty good. <laughs> Whatever. It's... Wait, wait, wait a second. What we have here? Ogre Deadeye? Ogre Snipers? Really? I find it hard to believe that so many, so many guards can be hired for an operation of this size. Oh, what's going on here? Nah, crap. What else we have here? Ogre dagger. Ah, uh, this is a pretty bad place. Fine. Thing is be fat and furry. Superb. Sure. Whatever. It would be nice if, uh, as I understand it, if you use a torch in your offhand, that counts as a weapon. And you try to use it in a fight, but I would like to see it if uh, you could actually uh, use torch, and it does not count as a weapon. You were saying. And you can just have uh, one uh, one weapon builders use the torch without feeling bad about it, or using up a weapon slot for it, because weapon slots are quite important. I don't need the torch to navigate, but it would be nice. Yeah, I'm for uh... Why not? So, I don't be supposing we a lot of slaves in here. Ten oh boy, we're gonna get the ten. Okay, we're gonna get uh, quite a discount on the slaves. What's going on here? You there, stranger? Help us! We are not fit to be here. What? A wooden coat and dirt and. Flucking war paint waves her arm between the grimy cell's bars. Though weaponless and caged, wearing rags not fit for a pauper, she stands aggressively and has a muscular frame. It is obvious she's a warrior. Come closer. That's it. Just a step more, little bird. Do nothing. Teeth uh, bared in a snarl, the warrior lunges forward. Her shoulder bangs loudly against the bars, certainly hard enough to leave a bruise. As her hand gropes for your throat. Her nails scrape at your skin, but she's just short of being able to grasp onto you. Highly above. Damn it. Wait. Make another grab for me and you lose that hand. Surely I won't. Notice I didn't say surely you wouldn't. She raises her hands in front of her and takes half step back from the bars, but her eyes never leave your face. Who are you? A buyer, maybe? But down here? I haven't seen you before, so you don't work for the slavers. You wouldn't happen to be a native of the Deathfire, would you? So you really aren't one of Kua's. I am Wahaki. The Deadfire is my homeland. And someday, I will kill these slavers for defiling it. Understand. She wretches at one of the, the bars, and while the metal doesn't bend, it groans long and low. So it's true, the Croxpert trades illegal slaves. They do. Though the legalities scarcely matter. All kith have an inborn right to freedom, to survival. I would see these traitors slaughtered for their overbearance. You've made it this far and haven't been skewered by an ogre. Yet. Perhaps you can free us. Perhaps. Me and the others are keeping tabs on their patrols. 
I know their schedules, and their weaknesses. We can handle ourselves if you can get us out of this cell. You need weapons to even have a chance of surviving. If you fight and die here, it'll be in vain. You need to reunite with your tribe and protect them against the slavers. The Wahaki are rarely beaten. Our captors carefully set an ambush against us. Even so, me and my hunters felled 12 of their men. They will not survive our retribution. I will personally take the Taskmaster's anchor and use it to rip out his entrails. Open the cell and witness the Wahaki's best warriors in action. Now think about it. For the sake of my tribe, I hope you do. But know this, me and mine. I'm a little bit hesitant to let you out because you sound like a loose cannon. We will have our chance. And we will cut the hearts from these slavers, with or without you. You're more likely to to cause uh, trouble for me. And, uh, and of course get yourself killed. I would be more uh, on board with the you lay low while I save you uh, kind of plan. Auction courtyard. The hockey cell. I think we explored the whole thing. Oh, you guys want to leave? Croxburg Caverns. You need to leave. Hey. We. Shh. We're not supposed to talk with anyone. Who are you? An escaped slave? I. Uh, I don't want to get in trouble. It's not safe. Stay here. Sure. I mean, it's n not like we can go anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Seems like we have not uh, made it safe for them just yet. Uh, we need to go back to the courtyard. Then we're going to come down and say like, Hey, you guys are free. How do you like that? Oh, Croxper Dungeons? Sea Cave? Uh, sure. Valley and Plate Armor. Oh. Only way to open this is from the inside. Oh, that that makes sense. It's clearly not safe. Terrified oh, oh, spiders. I didn't beat to anything. Well, that's kind of a uh, garbage pistol. Sweet redemption. So, is it safe right now? We don't really know. It's definitely safer. I think. Wait a second. Dive into the tunnel? The tunnel is narrow and rocky, the water cold and, and inky black. Your hand strays along the sides and ceiling as you swim, but there's no break to the surface, no room for air. Several feet into the tunnel, you can no longer see either ahead nor behind you. Midway through the tunnel, a strong undertow sweeps you swiftly toward the sea, and after several more chest-burning seconds, you break the water's surface within the mouth of a cavern connecting the shoreline. So we got out. Not much point though. I think they should just uh, leave. Like, 
through this uh, entrance. Whoa. Can you guys just open it? Oh, they're not gonna open it. Oh boy, we can go back now. Well, I can't assume that they're gonna... Swim to the brighter tunnel? To Croxborough Island? Okay, sure. We need to go back. Not tell the... Well, maybe tell the slaves. Well, I don't know. We gotta talk to the slaves. Hopefully they're not gonna rush back to the courtyard. Is it safe now? Can I tell them that it's safe? It's safe, guys. Is it safe for us to run? Make a run we for it. Caught? Make a run for it. There's a cavern in the stock room that connects to the beach. You're sure? What if it dead ends or there's spiders or we have to swim for it? I I'm not a good swimmer. Well, it's not a dead end. There are no spiders there. Only dead ones, but you have to swim for it. There's a sailor on the beach waiting. Her name, uh, Seafall. She'll row you to safety. You'll be fine. Go. All right. Yeah. It'd be worse if we stayed here. We'll go quiet as we can. With a visible gulp, the freed slave signals for the others to follow her. Oh, look at that. How goody goody I am. You guys are all welcome. We need to bring up our conversation skills. That's why we get into so many fights. <laughs> hey guys. Do ready not come and fight with me. Some slavers? I know I'm ready for revenge. Damn. Intimidation. I'm terrible at it. Only fools can tell when to fight and when to retreat. I would rather die than risk awakening again in chains. Damn. Good party assist, but I suck at it. Forget the fighting and flee. I'll kill the slavers while you run. I can personally ensure your tribe's safety. If we don't slaughter every last slaver, my tribe will never be safe. Your offer is noble. But I can't entrust this task to another. Forget the fighting and flee. You ask a warrior to run from battle? To adopt the heart of a coward? She pounds a fist against her chest. That I can't do. We uh. will have our chance. And we will cut the hearts from these slavers, with or without you. Yeah, let's make them suffer! Suddenly her whole body is on alert, her muscles... Taut as a bowstring as the signals for her fellow Wahaki to draw closer. I'm locking you guys in. Me and mine will make our way to the courtyard, gutting any slavers we find. The chaos should help you reach the master. But say, are you ready? Wait, we can't strike yet. We'll await your signal. For as long as we can. She crosses her arms over her chest and sighs. Lock him in! You idiots! Ha! <laughs> we got him good! <laughs> I just wait like five minutes. We need to get ready, okay? Guys, we need to run toward the courtyard so fast. We're gonna let them out a little bit later. Maybe leave some guys. Uh, so they're gonna be happy about that. It's gonna be like, oh yeah, that's cool. Oh, uh, we killed like one guy. Oh no. Auction or Marka. Damn, that's a lot of guys. They're weak, and they don't act. 
Okay, this is truly just target practice. Yeah. Sadly, they have nothing. It's not stealing if you kill people. Oh boy, that's awfully ballsy. Yeah. Oh, what the hell? Sweet redemption. Die, slaver scum. Handsome Elia, still around. How nice. And he's still very handsome. Maybe they're just gonna run up. Oh boy. Did you suffer an injury for that? I feel like we... Uh, perhaps would've deserved to. Oh, maybe blow up the barrel right now. Can we do it? I kind of forgot about it. Blow up the barrel. Why can't I click on it? Still got it for something else. Blow him up. Uh, hey, that wasn't half bad. And somebody up, make a run for it. Sure. Can do. Wait. Okay. More slavers. I don't know why the M4s are Sorry, friend. such targets. Oh yeah, we can open the gate as well. I suppose it's good to have like... At least two ranged, because currently we can't even go there. A mi mixed party is the best party. Oh, he's using a cannon? It looked like that. Leave it to me. What? Damn it. It's not gonna stay like that. Alright, that's a bit annoying. But it's no big deal. I find it hard to believe that it doesn't stay that way. Handsome buddy, I'm just uh stay cool. Be ready to me. Yeah. See that beauty of the Maya? What the hell was that? What is that cannon? Yeah. What do you need? Okay, I guess we're gonna run past the gunpowder barrels. Wasn't there a cannoneer guy? That was weird. Oh! Let's die! Sure. 
Looks like we can't operate the gate from this side. Only one way, but even that is just a temporary way to lower the gate. Alright, we're gonna rest a little bit and uh, talk with Handsome Aliyam. Then go back to the dungeons and say, hey, all of you are free, right? Handsome Aliyam. I. And then you. Yeah. He rubs at the back of his neck, seemingly startled by the band of metal that brushes his palm. I don't know how or why you killed him. But I do thank you. Get below decks, you're my ship hand now, and you work yourself till you bleed. You're free now, good luck and take care. He chokes on his intended reply, beating on his chest to catch his breath before he can further speak. Truly? You mean it? I can never thank you enough for such kindness. Gods, I... Where should I go? I have nothing to my name but these clothes. And my freedom. <laughs> that was my plan all along. So, I could have just told him that... Well, suck it up, Elam. Now you work for me on my ship, you're a slave. But no, he just says that, wow, I'm free, what I'm gonna do? And now he's gonna get this opportunity of working on my ship and uh, getting paid like two coppers a day, which is not gonna be enough for anything. Uh, you can join my crew if you like, uh, the work's hard but fair and I'll pay you for it. Ooh, that's, that's pretty good. G gotta be sad. That's better deal than a f than slavery. He jerks, clearly surprised. Thank you for the kindness, my lady. Do you refuse? Oh, he totally accepted. Okay, only one thing to do. We're gonna go into the Cruxper dungeons. Uh, talk with the guys who are like, Hell yeah! Kill them all! Woo! Can you actually leave through? Uh, the gate, because that's where he was heading. Alright guys, I said that I'm gonna take five, but I, it was actually ten, like, you guys understand. We're ready to kill ready them all! To skin some slavers? I know I'm ready for revenge. She pops a joint in her neck. The fort is safe, you're free to go. Then let us follow the path of blood you have painted. Hell yeah! She pounds her fist against her palm. Battle loss hardening her features. I hope you have left us at least a few slavers to gut on our way out. Nope. Warriors, the time has come for us to strike. Yeah, strike! Fighting's about take, well, picking your battles. Well, you guys were not hiding anything in here. So, we have two ways to go about this. Either we go up. Okay, let's just go into the caverns. That's a guaranteed way to get out of this place. I don't trust Elium that much. Because Elium was uh, going toward uh, the gate, but it really shouldn't be lowered right now. Roxburgh Island. This is just a convenient way to get out, right? It seems like it. <laughs> Instead of swimming around. Uh, which you can do, but... It's really, you don't have to. So, everyone is dead. We looted everything. We gotta talk to... Our contact. But to be fair, like, this was not about whether uh, they are breaking the law by uh, selling local slaves or even uh, enslaving local people. But, like, hey, slavery? Uh, I'm gonna stop that. Sure. Why not? Oh, no. This is actually not what I expected it to be. 
Okay. Sure. Cockerel Forest. What's over here? Out of Croxper, the forest thickens. White trunk trees tower above you, their leaves forming a ceiling against the sky. A uh, symphony of uh, insects provide constant. Uh, comp. comp <laughs> okay, sometimes I just can't talk. Accompaniment of uh, chirping and buzzing. Your path leads you into a narrow gully, the hills rising high to both sides. Whip. An arrow buries itself in the ground at your feet. You jump back and search widely for the source, but you see nothing and no one. Whip, whip. Okay. A second arrow strikes the ground beside the first, then a third. This one much closer to you than the others. Whoever watches the path above, you clearly doesn't want you to come any closer. Call out to the archers! The kid firing these arrows are clearly hostile. You know you need to choose your words with, uh, with incredible care if there is any chance of standing down. Oh boy, street rise is not gonna work. You're clearly very upset. Is there anything we can do to help you? We're peaceful missionaries. We're not even armed. The arrows continue to fall. We are never returning to that place. A deer with your voice rings among the trees. Turn back or die. Seraphim's eyes closes he okay. Search the presence of other minds. With a small smirk, Seraphim nods. The cipher's eyes close and the search for other minds begins. Within a moment, Seraphim points down a small game trail. Where you can make out a flicker of movement. Double back up and attempt an ambush. Hell yeah, let's do it. Who's good at that? Nods at your instructions, glancing at Adair with an expression allowing concern and annoyance. Leads you back through the forest before guiding you from the path. Despite the prowler's guidance, you must have tipped off the ambushers and you flinch, flinch as an arrow strikes a tree in inches to your right. Adair was injured. But you're fortunate compared to Adair who cries out, an arrow projecting from his side. Three of kit emerge from the tree line. Fierce companion animals follow them close, to, close at heel, their teeth barred. So, they just want to kill me now? Well, I suppose they did warn me to go away. Can we just have a talk about this? You guys are free to leave this island. What's up with all the animals? Oh boy, that's gonna kill a lot of people. Dango. Super weapon. Chain breaker. Exceptional bow. Exceptional weapons. Seems like that's it. We can rest here.
Perhaps we could have uh, left them in peace. Not sure. Agno's ticket. So maybe this place has a bunch of uh, slaves who are hiding. Oh, this is just a boring place with possibly loot. But the ruined tower seems like a place that might have some slaves in it. No. That's all. There's nothing else here. Wait a second, what's up with the injured crew? Ship management? Okay, these are injured for a long time. Yeah, not the best. Handsome Eliam is uh, now the helmsman, I suppose. Great. I just want them to be not injured, because that ruins our morale. Not, not even sure what that really does to us. So many guys are on my ship now. Maybe should I, I should have less guys on the ship. Would I be richer if I had? Because it seems like the game requires you to have a lot of money. And I don't have a lot of money by any means. Okay, we got out. What's up with that? Neil dogs! Oh, come on, the gate was open all along. But I'm still glad that we managed to find our way out. And explore the rest of the island. And to Meliam, what happened to my contact? Do we have... Speak with Captain Aldous. I dealt a blow to the crux per slave operation, as Aldous asked. It's time to meet her at Fort Deadlight to deliver the news. Headmaster Kua won't pose a threat to the people of Deadfire anymore, but his captives remain locked in Croxbury's dungeons. What? Well, I guess I'm gonna talk with Aldous. It is the way to go. Time to sail away. Merchant, uh, we're leaving you here. You have nothing. Unfortunately. Wish you did though. I wonder if the sale price actually changes based on their uh, disposition toward you. Because the... well... Sell price, not the buy price. I know the buy price changes. So we can check out Hasongo. That's Famir script. Kupohasfang. I definitely didn't check out uh, Ashen's Ashen Ma. Yeah, this is where we can get some rice. Donage. Sayuka. So we gotta go back to Fort Deadlight. I will eventually need to go to Hasongo. It's uh, it's quite the priority, I suppose. Old Binder Sanctum. Am I going the right way? So let's just go to Fort Deadlight. Morale working with injury. I know that sucks. We need to go to Nekataka to change the act of. Uh, guys, these guys are healing. I suppose uh, they would be healing as well if they were uh, inactive. How many people are working with injury? I believe three. Only three, because three of them are also just chilling. Bo 
Thorn's experience. Wait, what? Oh, their experience, not mine, right? I suppose. Hopefully. <laughs> I don't really care about that too much. I'm not sure why I'm making friends with the Principi right now. But to be fair, like, slavers, we took out the slavers, so... I would have done that anyway. So do I need to go back to the tippy top? Again? Can't say I know your crew. You are an idiot, them. Can you just lead us are up? Are you ready to meet our commander? Right we don't. So it's a quick way to go up, I suppose. That's the only reason this guy's here. I'm not sure why I'm working for Aldis anyway. But perhaps before we talk to her, this is time to take a break. So thanks for watching guys and see you next time.